Henan is a province in central China's Yellow River Valley. This province is widely recognized as the place where Chinese civilization originated. But right now, there is something unbelievable that is happening in China's Henan nowadays. A lot of unbelievable development, advancement and progress has been going on in this place because of China's economic and sustainable efforts. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated with our new contents. Today, let's talk about something unbelievable that is happening in China's Henan nowadays. And without wasting any more of your time, let's get into our video. Number 1 is Giant Escalator Opens to Public at Scenic Area in Henan, China. A giant escalator opens to visitor at a scenic area in Zhengzhou, China. The escalator is 518 meters long, with a vertical drop of 180 meters. The escalator journey up to the mountain lasts 12 minutes. It's believed to be the first such escalator in Henan. Number 2 is World's Longest U-Shaped Glass Skywalk Opens in Henan, China. World's longest horseshoe-shaped glass skywalk opens to public. The walkway is 360 meters above the canyon floor and extends 30 meters past the cliff edge. It's 9 meters longer than Grand Canyon Skywalk in Arizona. The skywalk doesn't have a stake cable structure. It's made up of 150 pieces of laminated toughened glass and 3,000 tons of steel. Number 3 is China starts building world's first commercial SMR in Hainan. China started construction of the world's first commercial small modular reactor project on land in the country's southernmost island province of Hainan. The reactor, Linglong 1, is designed for electricity generation, urban heating, urban cooling, industrial steam production, or seawater desalination. It was self-developed by the China National Nuclear Corporation. Number 4 is Watch How 5G Helps Mining Evolve in China's Henan. Trucks, excavators, and drilling machines work under remote control at this cement factory in Henan, China. The smart mining is facilitated by 5G technologies. The company has now realized unmanned loading, unmanned digging, and unmanned transportation. Managers say they plan to achieve more precise positioning with China's Beidou navigation system. Number 5 is 20,000 ton bridge rotates successfully in central China's Henan. A 20,000 ton bridge rotated successfully at the airport area expressway at central China's Henan provincial capital city, Zhengzhou, which paves the way for the following construction. The bridge is built over an intercity railway and located at the expressway section that leads the ramp to the main road. 
The 11km expressway with 8 lanes in both directions leads the zhengzhou Qingzhou International Airport to the south station of the high-speed railway. After opening to traffic, the journey from the train station to the airport will be shortened from an hour to 20 minutes. Number 6 is China's latest Type 075 vessel, the Hainan. The Type 075 amphibious assault vessel named the Hainan officially entered the PLA Navy. As the first amphibious assault ship independently developed by China, the Hainan can carry amphibious hovercrafts, tank, and armored vehicles. Its deck layout is similar to that of China's Liaoning and Shandong aircraft carriers. The deck can accommodate several different types of carrier-based helicopters, taking off and landing at the same time. The vessel is also armed with weapon systems such as missiles and ship guns. The Hainan has greatly strengthened PLA Navy's amphibious combat capabilities. Number 7 is Smart Farming in Hainan Unmanned farming is gaining momentum in China. Take a look at the High Standard Farmland Demonstration Area in Shangshui County in central China's Henan. Number 8 is new high-speed railway launched in Henan, China. The Henan section of Zhengzhou-Wanzhou high-speed railway launched. The entire highway is 818 kilometers long, and the Henan section extends 350 kilometers. The design speed is 350 km per hour. It will link Zhengzhou with Chongqing with travel time reduced to 4 hours. Construction of the railway began in 2016. Trains started test operations in 2019. So, I hope you found this video wonderful. And if you did, be sure to click thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this with others. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.